China and Russia struggle together against NATO. Russia and China are sharing a toolkit of strategies to undermine NATO members. A top U.S. diplomat has warned, urging Western capitals to step up efforts to defend themselves against both Moscow and Beijing. Washington is pushing members of the transatlantic alliance to toughen their stance towards China, citing Beijing's military developments, threats to critical Western infrastructure, such as transport and power networks. It's no limits partnership with Moscow and support for its war against Ukraine. Those two are increasingly sharing a toolkit that should concern the NATO alliance, said Julianne Smith, the UN ambassador to NATO, pointing to the threats to energy supplies and cybersecurity, among other factors. There's just no question that the People's Republic of China and Russia are both working to divide the transatlantic partners. And we are now very aware we all have a deeper appreciation of those efforts and are intent on addressing them, she said in an interview. Beijing is not providing arms for use in Russia's war against Ukraine, but has given political support to President Vladimir Putin since he launched the full-scale invasion in February and repeated the Kremlin's accusations that blame Kiev and its Western backers of the war. NATO, for the first time in June, agreed to address the challenges that China poses to the alliance. Following a step-up in U.S. lobbying, member states' foreign ministers discussed concrete measures to address China at a meeting in Bucharest, Romania last month. We've seen them share hybrid tactics, Smith said. I think China watches very closely how Russia relies on disinformation and things like coercion or energy security, malign or malicious cyber operations. Other allies did not reject proposals made by U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken at NATO's Bucharest meeting aimed at better protecting critical infrastructure, supplies chains of key materials and cyber assets from undue Chinese influence or control. But many European countries are far less hawkish towards China than the U.S. and are reluctant to endanger their trade and economic ties with Beijing by taking too tough a posture while other European members are wary of any discussion about future NATO policy that distracts from efforts to support Ukraine as it weathers Russian bombardment. Smith said that the alliance was focused like a laser to get the Ukrainians all the support that they require in the form of air defense systems to defend against horrible and absolutely inexcusable Russian attacks on civilian infrastructure and equipment to help them rebuild damaged power plants and other energy systems.